Okay guys, I uh, I woke up here by the side of the road. I had no clue what happened or how I got here because all I remember from last night I'd gone to Donington Park Raceway. Kimmy was there and he was practicing. After that then we went for some ringing action in Nottingham on the uh, on the ring road. You know who you stumble into on the ring road. You know, fucking Crumble is there. I mean, he's touching up, stroking the buses, stealing ropes from the rich. And what well, he's not really giving them to anyone, he's keeping them for himself. He's like the modern day Robin Hood of Nottingham. So after that, we ended up at the, the Duke of Devonshire's house. Now, this is where shit got crazy. I mean, you know, everyone was doing. Uh, shots of honey boo boo go go juice off the bellies of a lot of posh totty now that's where it all blacked out and now I find myself stuck on fucking mum door in the middle of the peak district shit that was a pothole now it's interesting this uh, this mum door hill if we translate it to normal English it actually means the boob hill mum m-a-m which is from the latin mamma which is boob or the breast basically it is in the shape of a breast the hill so they call it the tit hill i was awoken by some ramblers so there i was by the side of the road lying in you know sheep shit and all kinds of other manner of uh, country stuff jesus fucking christ i mean look at this now before they had a chance to roger me i managed to get up and you know, really got to be careful with these ramblers because you know, it's a long time walking and, you know, people get needs. I mean, you have to understand this. Yeah, look at that. He's got uh, AMD printed on his butt, which means it's a shit butt. Fucking shit AMD processes. I mean, who the hell ever buys that stuff? Ooh, water. It's like being in Chessington World of Adventures. Right, so, where was I in this story? Doing the shots of Honey Gogo, and the honey boo boo go go juice ended up on a right sugar high oh look at that oh that would make a lovely leg of lamb the little one not the big one that's fucking mutton who is mutton oh, do you guys need need me to wipe your face okay here we go sorry there are jizz in your eye maybe come on there we go you okay you can see now good right so now on the sugar high after that you know you're fucking what the fuck was that on the sugar high, I couldn't remember from there onwards how I got out here. All I know is right now I've got such bad crapula. Crapula is finished for hangover. I mean, the, even the word crapula, I mean, it sounds shit, doesn't it? Real crapula. Anyway, yeah, so. But yeah, this place is. I love the Peak District. It's fucking beautiful. I mean, I would come out here, you know, if it were to live the country life and maybe buy a an estate out here and like a dirt bike ranch a gentleman motocrosser but I don't know, could you guys, could you live the country life? I mean, it's kind of appealing, you know living out here, going stalking fucking hell shit always again jizz in your eye the other thing is that it's been raining a fair bit and my my gorge, I tell you, my gorge is, it's, you know, humidity that you get in the jungle, so imagine, imagine like, like a South Pacific jungle, hot, humid, that's what it's like in my gorge right now, I don't know where the fuck it's coming in from, you know, I'm wearing waterproofs, I mean, everything else is good, but somehow, I think it's, the spray off the back wheel is like working its way in through my butt crack and pooling there, now oh, look at this, Look how quaint this is. You've got a stream, some old shit house, a camper van. Well, it's not really, not really the weather for hot boxing actually today. I guess it could have turned out worse because last summer, last midsummer night in uh, in in Finland. I mean, there's a tradition there where everyone gets completely fucking shit faced. Martin Bashir had passed out in a, in a rowing boat in the middle of the lake. Skido was at the bottom of the lake. Complete fucking nightmare. And even the sauna house, there was a floating sauna. The floating sauna was upside down on the shoreline. I mean, how the fuck does this shit happen? Now look at this place. This place is called Lady Blower. 
Yeah, looks like my kind of place. Thank you, kind sir. I want to know, if you live out here, I mean, what do you do for fun? I mean, it's... I mean, if you've got a bike, yeah, I can understand. Take a dirt bike out, fuck about in the... Fuck about in the field. Oh, you're going to eventually run out of things to do. I know that shooting trespasses with rock salt, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a boot, but I mean... How many years can you do that and it's still fun? I mean, yeah, I could see, okay, maybe one, two years, but... After that, you've got to find something else. All the things that you learn about, like in... Uh, in school, geography and all that kind of stuff about... These areas, in the Industrial Revolution. And I went past, just before you come into... Or as you come into the Peak District. I went past one of uh, Sir Richard Arkwright's mills. This area is, you know, it's the... This is the seat of, um, you know, this is where industrial Britain was born. And you can see it every, you know, the power of the, the power of the rivers funneling down the valleys, running the, the water mills, you know, powering Britain ahead of ahead of the rest of the world. I mean, you know, industrialization wasn't without its uh, without its casualties. I mean, the countless number of the countless number of female workers and would suffer at the hands of their masters and try to complain to the, you know, to their foreman saying Yes sir, he did me in the bum sir, he did sir! I don't know, I, I don't think that's, that's no, no, maybe not a northern accent, could be more Somerset. Is it? Somerset? Somerset maybe, I don't know. No, I was hoping I could film, you know, a little bit more exciting things. Better scenery and stuff like fucking cattle grid. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's got a bit rainy. I'm having to constantly wipe your face and I'm just feeling like Humpty Numpty sitting on a wall like a fucking egg cunt. Mm -hmm.